by now we know what are exceptions what kind of an exceptions we have and what do we do when these exception occurs but there are situations where you would want to define your own exception where you would want to throw your own customized exception so what do you do so those are nothing but your user defined exceptions it says that these exceptions that you are defining yourself or you are creating your customized exception should extend your throwable class and this throwable class will then consists of exceptions and error and if it is a kind of your check exception it should extend your exception class if it is a type of your runtime exception it should extend your runtime class what do you understand by these how do you create an exception how will you throw an exception will understand that with the help of your example so first we says that we have created our exception how do you declare an exception or how do you create an exception with a class keyword so it itself acts as a class so class keyword your exception name which will extends exception or throwable class or runtime exception that you need to mention so here we have created an example to understand but here it says the same thing in order to provide or in order to create your own customized exception it should extend one of the classes which is exception or throwable and then what kind of an exception it is we need to define so in this case we have created an exception with the name an exception which extends the throwable class and this throwable class will consist the cause what kind of a problem it has occurred all those information therefore you say this will extend your throwable class in this what are we trying to do we have created a variable of a string type a string 1 and this exception the constructor will get the information or get the string and then provide the output but before we explain about this class let us move to another class to understand what kind of an an exception it is we have created a class called user define exception in this class we are trying to throw the customized exception that we have created what is that customized exception the customized exception is an exception class so we will throw the exception here it says that in the try block if you are trying to execute certain points or certain code like file not found exception is one if you are trying to execute certain other statements and you think these statements may throw an exception that you have created then you need to write here remember a throw keyword is always written inside the method so we write throw following the new keyword then the exception that you have created we have created call as an exception and then what kind of an exception it is what information it is you will provide here in case of file not found we provide in the bracket as e that e will hold the information that this is a exception of type file not found so here we write this is an exception which is customized created right so how again how do you throw an exception with the help of a throw keyword you write throw keyword new the exception that you have created and the information and if this exception can be handled then you write this exception that you are trying to throw should be handled by your catch block so what is that exception name it is an an exception so whatever information of this exception is there will be stored in this e object and then you can display this is similarly as try catch block if you had a file not found exception you would have written a file not found exception e and then print e whereas here because you have defined your own exception you are giving your exception name you are throwing first that exception in your try block and then you are catching your exception in catch block in this the exception class that you have created an exception you are trying to receive the whole string the string was in your class as throw new an exception in the bracket as custom exception so this particular this complete thing is considered a string for this particular method that is your to string so what happen this constructor will receive the complete string that is throw new any exception will store the value in your string str1 and then finally you are trying to display your output so this to string method will enable you to get the throw 
string that you have written. So key point just to remember is that whenever you are trying to create your own exception, it should extend one of the throwable or exception class because it consists of all your checked and unchecked or runtime exception. So you need to define one of these kind of an exception. And now when you are trying to throw or once you are trying to throw the user defined exception, we need to use a throw keyword following a new give you exception name and the information. This thing complete thing will enact as a string. So once you have thrown an exception in your try block, this exception will be handled by your catch block and in catch block it will print what kind of an exception it has occurred. So by all these videos we have learned that what an exception is, what an error is, what kind of an exception we have and if you want to define your exception, how will you define, who will handle these exception, who will throw these exceptions. So exceptions again are nothing but an abnormal situations or an event that may occur when you run your program or the exception that you would want to define when a method has run what kind of a problem will this method uh, occur or you may anticipate what kind of an exceptions may occur who will handle what are the exception handlers. Then you to handle all this you need try catch and finally block to understand about the exceptions. And finally we will execute this program practically to understand about your user defined exception. How did you create an, an exception class and how will this class throw this error and then print your customized exception. So let us run this program practically. In this example, we shall learn how can you create your own exceptions. Those are nothing but user defined exceptions. Till now we have seen the system defined exceptions like file not found or array out of bounds exception. There are certain other null pointed exception, IO exception, etc. So let us see how can you define your one own exception. So I have created here an exception class. Okay, so my own exception, which is named as an exception. So let us see another class that we have created and the class name is user defined exception class. This class will call the exception that you have created. Just consider a normal example. In the previous programs what you have done is that you have created a class and you have written a block of statements which is written under try catch block and if any exception form it will be handled here itself and these exceptions are system defined. Similarly, here you will create a class under the main method you would provide a try catch block and what kind of an exception should it hold you will write here. So under try block we write an exception or we call an exception that we have created and how do you call that by using a throw keyword followed by a new this is nothing but a new object or a new exception of type. So throw keyword followed with new and then the exception name as an exception. If it was a system defined it would have been file not found exception and so on because we have created our exception with a name called as an exception so we have written that. And then we are trying to pass a string value. Why you are trying to pass a string value I shall explain when we come to an exception. Okay. So now you need to close this try block and under catch block you are trying to catch the exception. So what is the kind of exception that you are trying to catch? It is an exception. So your exception name is an exception and e. It is just similar file not found exception e and then we print what kind of an exception it is. Here we have designed that is user defined exception with the name an exception. Let us see how an an exception class works. We have created a class called an an exception which extends throwable class. Throwable class is there in the hierarchy. If you remember, the hierarchy starts with lang dot object followed lang that throwable, then lang dot exception and so on. So we are trying to extend the properties from throwable class and this class will become an type of an exception. In this exception, we have created a string called str1 which is a variable and then we have created a constructor for this class. We remember a constructor is nothing but which is named or which is 
declared with the name of a class. So the class name is an exception. And in this we have created a variable called string str2. This str2 will receive the value that we pass here. So this is an exception which is thrown and in this exception we are providing a string value. Therefore it will receive the string value and save it as string1. If you remember this dot is string1. So this string1 stands for the instance variable and string2 is the local variable for this. Right? Now we need to return this value in order to print. So what are we returning? We are returning a type of a string. Therefore, you need to provide the return type. The return type is string and then the method that we create is called toString. So we have created a method which prints a value or which returns the value. So the method starts with the return type which is of string type and the method name is toString. In that curly braces, we are trying to return. What are we trying to return? We are trying to return a string called output string is equal to whatever value that you have received in string 1. So let us go to our main class save and execute. In the console as you can see it says output string is equal to tutorials point. Therefore we have not defined here any string called as tutorials point. It will go give the control to an an exception class with a value called tutorials point Therefore, it will go here, return the value as output string is string str1. 